I was sitting down and I was eating my lunch and I got an itch in my eye and I started rubbing my eye and then I realized I got Heinz ketchup in my eye. Funny thing is, now I have hindsight. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole corn star if you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done you're in the right place if you guys support me and my content would you please hit the thumbs up button it lets the youtube algorithm know you guys like my stuff and it pushes me to a larger audience so if you want to help me out please hit the thumbs up button thanks guys hey guys um brother has been telling me and I've noticed in the comments that you guys wanted me to do some videos on doing some hay. So I'm going to start, I'm going to try to video and keep you guys updated on what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a field by our place, getting it opened up. I usually don't do this one because it's very bumpy, but I'm trying to get quite a bit of hay, as much hay as I can to uh, make as much money as I can this year. So I'm doing it, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated mowing down this wet spot every year it's just super wet and we're not able to farm this spot and this is the first time I've ever been able to mow it so I'm mowing it get it knocked down get some of the weeds out there's not a lot in there so I'll bale it and then it just kind of keeps it from trees growing too because you're cutting down before they can fully grow so looks a lot better getting this down I've never seen this mowed before Strawway is very sketchy. It's very tall. I haven't mowed it, as you can tell, in a while. Not the best quality hay, but right down the middle of this drawway, there's a big washout. A few years ago, we had this this field completely redone, and it was a nice big drawway. And we got huge rains, and it washed the whole thing out, and it just ruined it. And so, it's just very rough. I'm trying my best here to get what I can, but a lot's going to stay. That's for sure. I was talking about this drawways rough this is stuff I'm talking about there's just this is a kind of a washout and it kind of runs down through here in a real soft spot right there it's going slow but it's sketchy we got here this splits our farm with uh, our neighbor's farm here the beans and it runs back that way and then we have this drawway here it's very rough but like I said I'm gonna do it just to get enough hay I'm hoping to get 20 or 30 well not 20 probably Probably 10 off this one, but 30 all together off this cutting. So that's my uh, goal anyways. the bales picked up at Kristen and Rusty's. I think we're gonna run down to my parents house now get a couple bales there go to Bill's get a couple bales and then bring everything back to the main farm. Cooper asked us if we'd rake some hay for him today so we're gonna hop in the 2745 head over to Mary Lou's and Dick and Lee's and we're gonna rake all the hay that he has mowed over there. 
I gotta check all the fluids on this tractor quick. Then I gotta change the hydraulic hose line, and then we will be ready to go. Get out of here. I'd say we need to put in some hydraulic fluid. I have no idea whose that is. Mm. High definition oil, that's what we want. All right, we checked all the fluids, everything's good to go. We're gonna go rake some hay now. To be completely honest, I've never raked hay in my life. Cooper's always done it. You wouldn't think it'd be hard to film while you're raking, but man, it is. It's just bumpy, you're going like this all the time, you can't see the rake behind me, so sorry, you're not gonna get a whole ton of footage of me raking, but we got the south side of Mary Lou's all done, we got the north side of Mary Lou's all done, now we're gonna run over into Dick and Lee's after Dad brings us some lunch. Time for dinner, so I ran in and got Cola pizza. We're gonna eat a pizza today and Cooper's gonna be making hay. So Cole is out raking hay today. Have you ever had one of them days where you feel like you're doing more running around than getting anything done? I've been having that happen a lot lately. Kinda feel like I'm run here, or run there. But anyhow, I know that's part of farming and I just uh, kinda in that stage right now, it's like I just want to concentrate on one thing working on stuff in the shop, getting ready for harvest. But as every one of you know, these other jobs got to be done too. And the boys are always great about helping me. So in return, I'm going to help them out too. Kelly's full, we're good to go. We got a call from Cooper. He said he uh, accidentally maybe uh, kind of snapped the front wheel off the 7140. We're gonna run out to the field that he's in and see how it looks. I don't get it because I would have got right here. I must have just missed it. Top and bottom? Or did you loosen them? I, I tightened them both. You did tighten them or they loose? They're loose now, but they were. I tied them to King of the season. Threads look fine, I don't get it. I know, they're probably, you know, lately, Record from the years of you. Is there another wrench in there? Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is a wheel didn't snap off. This was the cylinder for the hydraulics, and we had some bolts that every so often want to come loose. We can order new bushings that will go into the steering itself, the cylinder. They're getting a little wobble in them anyhow, so we can replace them easy enough. And that should help us get back and up and running. Well, heading off to get some parts. Got to run up to the case. Cooper had a little run in with a hole last night that did a little bit of a broke tire rod on a, our case tractor. So I'm gonna go get the parts and my little tag along's coming with me. I don't know if you can see her down there. Sun's in the eyes, but Anna is coming with me. She likes to travel. It's a beautiful day. And who wants to work on a tractor in the middle of nowhere? Me, me not all right what am i gonna attempt to do what's broken on this tractor is this piece right here and we'll show you the new piece but what i'm going to be doing right now is trying to get this bolt off here and they are tighter than an all get out i should say sometimes you just gotta give it a little man bar Ah, should have brought the big in bag wrench. Ah, ah, well, well, sometimes they break loose a little bit faster than you want. But the main thing is, we got it. 
about killed ourselves, but we got it. Woo, doggy! This is the power steering hydraulic cylinder. Now I'm gonna try to insert this shaft into here and twist it to get it to slide in. See if we can get this puppy to take. I needed a ride out to the waterway so I could go help dad work on the 7140. Don't judge me, I didn't have a vehicle to drive out to the field with. Never hurts to put a couple miles on the lawnmower. Got the tractor going. Now it's time to get it all serviced and ready for harvest. We got Cooper learning how to weld. He's taking a college class on welding, so it's really gonna benefit the farm in his own good too. Good morning, good evening, good night, because I don't know what time of the day you are watching Cole the Corn Star. It's, what is it, September? Six, I think it is but uh, it's on a Thursday and it's kind of chilly right now roughly 55 degrees I think I'm gonna have to hit ag leader up for some sweatshirts because it's darn right cold anyhow I'm gonna find a jacket and uh, ag leader we could use some sweatshirts out here out bailing hay today oh, well, you can see the baler back there running or not Oh, I better watch where I'm going. <laughs> Last couple days on the farm have been super weird. We've been just running around here, there, doing a bunch of computer stuff, meeting up with seed guys, meeting up with crop guys, trying to get things figured out for next year, trying to look at what we have in the field now, doing some yield checks, this, that, whatever. So kind of been hard to film all that just because it's been so crazy. But now I'm gonna check all the fluids here on the white Volvo. I'm gonna bring it home to the main heated shop. I'm gonna power wash the semi. I'm gonna power wash the trailer. I'm gonna clean out the cab. Then we're gonna go through all the fluids on this grease all the grease cirques check all the tires get everything all air pressured up ready to go this semi will be ready then we got to do it on the gray semi then we got to do it on the red semi then we got to do it on the other red semi and all the respective trailers if it was any other semi i'd be sitting in the cab right now waiting for the air pressure to build up but on that white semi it's got a beeper that goes beep 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 super loud and just penetrates the ears so we're going to stand out here until we build up some air pressure Ah, normally I'd be concerned, but I checked the oil and I checked the water and we are fine. Man, what were they doing in this cab? It's filthy. That was loud. Hey buddy. Let's stay on that window, please. I'm gonna give you guys a little corn star tip real quick. If you're power washing anything that's super muddy and it's splattering in your face, and you don't care if paint gets ripped off, use a zero degree tip on your power washer wand. If the paint's good and powder coated on there, it's not gonna take it off, but don't use this on your body paint because it will take that off. But this thing works wonders. Don't say I ever did nothing for you. We're gonna power wash that over there so that way the mud gets in the grass, not in the driveway. I'll show you guys something. That little blue thing there, that goes into our power washer. And just wanna prove something here, since I always get charged for leaving the hose out. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, what do we got there? Wonder if he'll remember to put it away. Doesn't it seem like Cole is usually running the power washer? Look at them boots. They float on water. Cole's trying to get this semi-trailer here washed up. We're wanting to get it in the shop, service it. Get the truck in and change fluids, oils, filters, grease it really good, check brake, give it a complete check over, make sure all the lights work. in the red bolo here we're gonna bring that home we're gonna power wash it up as you can see that needs some cleaning it's filthy this is daddy cornstar's fault we're blaming it on him now i have no idea what happened in the red semi here but it smells horrible in there and i'm not talking like a horrible like something died it's like i, I don't even know how to describe it it's 
is nasty. Now that the white semi is clean and the red semi is clean, I'm gonna go get the corn head from its summer vacation home and then I'm gonna bring that down here and power wash that as well. Once that's all clean, then I'm gonna clean the cabs on these bad boys. Wow, that corn looks really good. Here's the corn head summer vacation home. There it is. Guess I gotta move a couple snowmobiles. It only took me 20 minutes, but we finally got her out. We got her home with no issues, but when I got here, then I had people wanting to meet me for a meeting and we talked for like two hours, so I haven't really gotten a whole lot done since. So what I'm gonna do for tonight is work here on the grain cart. I'm gonna change the oil and the gearbox down below under the auger, and then we're gonna hit everything with some grease. And then, once we get the tractor hooked up to this, we can take the wheels off, repack the bearings and the wheels, and then we'll service the tractor, and then everything will be ready to go on the tractors for harvest. Then we gotta do the semis, we gotta do the semi trailers, then we gotta do the corn head, then we gotta do the bends. Why is it that every single time you get into an uncomfortable position when you're greasing something, that's when you run out of grease. Every stinking time. Daddy Cornstar and I are wanting to pull the shaft off so that we can grease the splines that are in there, but for some reason we can't get the shaft to pull off. So it's like nine something right now. We're gonna go in and eat and call it a night, but we'll go back to tackling that tomorrow.